Dr. Sarkis Mesmanian, a prominent microbiome research scientist, has conducted groundbreaking research on the impact of the microbiome on human health, particularly in relation to neurological disorders such as Parkinson's disease and autism. His work has shed light on the intricate relationship between the gut microbiome and the immune and nervous systems, highlighting the crucial role that gut bacteria play in maintaining overall health. The microbiome, which refers to the collective genomes of all the organisms living in or on the human body, is primarily composed of bacteria residing in the gastrointestinal tract. These microbes outnumber human cells and play a vital role in educating the immune system and influencing various organ systems, including the nervous system. Dr. Masmanian's research at Caltech focuses on the gut-brain axis, which involves communication between the gut and the brain through neurons, nerves, small molecules, and the immune system. Early life stages, including prenatal development and the first few years of life, are critical for microbiome establishment. Factors such as cesarean sections, antibiotic use, and diet can influence the composition of the microbiome in infants and impact their long-term health. Recent research suggests that the microbiome is more malleable in adulthood than previously thought, allowing for potential corrections to unhealthy microbiome trajectories. Dr. Mesmanian emphasizes the importance of maintaining a diverse and balanced microbiome for optimal health highlighting the symbiotic relationship that has developed over time between humans and their gut microbes. He discusses how disruptions in the microbiome, caused by factors like increased sanitation, antibiotic use, diet, and lack of human contact, can lead to various diseases, including allergic and autoimmune conditions. The hygiene hypothesis posits that reduced exposure to microbes due to modern lifestyles has contributed to the rise in allergic and autoimmune diseases in Western populations. Dr. Masmanian's research delves into how genetic predispositions interact with the environment, including the microbiome, to influence health outcomes. He suggests that gene-environment interactions, with the microbiome playing a significant role, likely impact the majority of genetic predispositions. The discussion then shifts to the connection between Parkinson's disease and the gut microbiome. Historical evidence has indicated a correlation between gastrointestinal symptoms and motor symptoms in Parkinson's patients. Dr. Masmanian's research has shown that specific bacteria in the gut can induce the aggregation of alpha-synuclein protein, a hallmark of Parkinson's disease, in the intestines of mice. By targeting these bacteria, researchers were able to alleviate gut symptoms, motor symptoms, brain inflammation, and alpha-synuclein aggregation in the mice. This discovery underscores the connection between the gut microbiome and neurological disorders, highlighting the potential for targeted interventions that harness the power of the microbiome to improve health outcomes. The gut-brain axis plays a crucial role in maintaining overall health, and disruptions in this communication can lead to various diseases. The discovery of a connection between Parkinson's disease and the gut microbiome has been well received in the scientific community particularly in the field of neuroscience. Dr. Masmanian contrasts this acceptance with the skepticism surrounding the connection between the microbiome and autism, where the evidence is less clear. He discusses the role of the microbial molecule 4-ethylphenyl sulfate, 4-EPS, in autism, explaining how this molecule can travel from, from the gut to the brain and potentially contribute to behavioral changes associated with the disorder. Studies in mice have shown that elevated levels of 4-EPS can lead to symptoms of autism, primarily anxiety-like behavior. Human studies have also indicated elevated levels of 4-EPS in individuals with autism, suggesting a potential link between the molecule and the disorder. Dr. Masmanian delves into the mechanics of how 4-EPS affects the brain, describing how the molecule can cross the gut epithelium, enter the bloodstream, pass the blood-brain barrier, and interact with brain cells, particularly oligodendrocytes. Regarding the potential applications of microbiome research for personalized medicine, Dr. Masmanian highlights the importance of understanding how genetic risks are modified by the microbiome and other environmental factors. He envisions a future where specific beneficial organisms can be identified and matched to individuals based on their genetic and microbial profiles, 
leading to more targeted and effective treatments for neurological disorders. The conversation also touches on the role of the vagus nerve in Parkinson's disease, with studies showing that cutting the vagus nerve in rodents can prevent the spread of pathology from the gut to the brain. Individuals who have had their vagus nerve cut or their appendix removed are less likely to develop Parkinson's, suggesting a link between the gut-brain axis and the disease. Dr. Masmanian acknowledges the limitations of using animal models in research and emphasizes the need for more research to understand how interventions impact the microbiome and overall health. The potential applications of microbiome-based therapies for other neurological disorders, such as Alzheimer's and depression, are also discussed. While Dr. Masmanian expresses skepticism about the likelihood of microbiome-based therapies for Alzheimer's due to the complexity of the disease, he sees potential for such therapies in depression based on strong correlations between microbial signatures and depressive symptoms. Ongoing research is exploring the relationship between the microbiome and conditions like obesity, autism, and autoimmune diseases, with a focus on conducting longitudinal studies to track the development of the microbiome from infancy and its impact on health outcomes later in life. Dr. Masmanian emphasizes the importance of maintaining gut health through a healthy diet, exercise, good sleep, and stress management. He explains that diet plays a significant role in shaping the composition of the microbiome, with plant-based diets and fiber-rich foods promoting a diverse and healthy gut microbiome. The potential of fermented foods and probiotics in promoting microbiome health is also discussed, with Dr. Masmanian highlighting the need for more research to understand how different interventions impact the microbiome and overall health. In conclusion, Dr. Sarkis Mesmanian's research on the gut microbiome and its impact on human health, particularly in relation to neurological disorders, has provided valuable insights into the complex relationship between the microbiome, the immune system, and the nervous system. His work highlights the potential for targeted interventions that harness the power of the microbiome to improve health outcomes and underscores the importance of maintaining a diverse and balanced microbiome for optimal health. The ongoing research in this field holds promise for personalized medicine and the development of new therapies that leverage the microbiome to address a range of health conditions.